Well, Wikipedia is an educational medium and it's run by a non-profit organization. So we see ourselves very much in the tradition of the mission of public broadcasting organizations, of educational organizations. And so when we think of video, we don't think of the kinds of videos that you might see on YouTube of animals doing funny and interesting things but we think of things that we can do to make complex subjects more understandable. So we want to provide both interfaces to existing archives and repositories and tools for remixing content from those archives in order to illustrate and explain complex topics. So as I mentioned, we're a nonprofit, so we're not driven entirely by market forces. We want to make sure that our actions contribute to a healthy ecosystem and as video and the web was emerging over the last few years it became clear that it was not a healthy ecosystem, it was a ecosystem, an ecosystem that was controlled by just a small number of vendors controlling the formats that we use. The typical video that we see on the web is basically a black box format uh, in a flash container, I can easily manipulate it, I need to buy proprietary tools to really do things with it or even to rebroadcast it. So video on the web isn't as open, it's not as free and it's not as reusable as for example an image on the, on the web page or text on a web page. We had decided many years ago already to only use open standards in Wikipedia. So we've always had, well not always, but for four years now, around about had video on Wikipedia in uh, Octheora format, which is an open source video format that's been around for a while and that's really matured in the last couple of years, thanks in significant part to support from the Mozilla Foundation as well. And we are now working on technologies that will make it easier for people to do things with those videos, both to get videos from, for example, the Internet Archive. We've been working with them, building an interface to their repository. They have thousands of public domain videos that could be useful for Wikipedia articles. But also to take a video, to crop it, to edit it, to take different assets and mix them into a single video. And not just video, you can really just make a text slide or you can make a slideshow, you can mix videos with uh, text and with uh, audio, obviously. So we want to build a completely open standards based environment that people can use to remix video, to set basically a standard for what an open ecosystem should look like and to set an example for other organizations as well, both in the educational space, nonprofit organizations and so on. Tell us a little bit about the ecosystem of uploading videos and how that works. So we're going to support an extension for Firefox initially, it's called Firefox. That extension makes it very, very easy to convert video from any format into the open Octave or Octavorbis formats. And that's something that you can do if you run Firefox, if you're comfortable installing an extension. We're going to explore whether we can do server-side transcoding for uh, some of the most popular proprietary formats to make it as easy as possible. And hopefully um, there will also be broader support in the common tools that people use. We'll now, uh, we now see first the emergence of desktop-based open source video editing tools. So hopefully those tools too will contribute to more people working with Octhere and Octvorbis. So Kultura is a technology partner. They want to basically position themselves as sort of the MySQL of open video technologies. They want to provide services around integration of specific solutions for specific use cases. And so they see Wikipedia as a good case to demonstrate their competency. We'll obviously talk about their contribution. We'll highlight the work that they are doing. And so they are funding most of the development that's happening on this right now, but it's all open source code.